What's up everyone, Takedown here, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be sharing with you the easiest games that you can platinum on PlayStation Now. Let's get right into this. So back in February or March 2020, I purchased a one-year subscription for PlayStation Now. I've talked about this before on the channel. For this video, I'm not going to be talking in depth what I really think about PlayStation Now because there's a lot of really great things, but there's also some things that do bug me about PlayStation Now. If you guys want to hear me talk about PlayStation Now and give my honest opinions about it, leave that down in the comments below because I might make a future video on that. Today, I'm simply talking about the easiest Platinums that you can get for PlayStation Now games. Now, PlayStation Now, if you are not familiar with it, it is a streaming service that PlayStation provides. For the PS4 and it is going to be on apparently the PS5 as well which is very interesting and I don't know if that means they're going to add new games for the PlayStation 5 version of PlayStation Now or if they're just going to add the same games that are on the PS4 version of PlayStation Now and just port them over to the PS5 whenever it is ready to do so. But with that being said like I said I did purchase a one-year subscription back in February or March, at the time it was 50% off, so I've had since then till now to really dive in to try out some games and see what PlayStation Now is all about. And there is some really great games on PlayStation Now, I must say. Now, over the time that I've done it, some of these games are ones that you have to or can download onto your console, some of them are ones that you do have to stream. So up first is one that is kind of a grindy one, but still doesn't take too long. There is a walkthrough online, but at the time that I did it, I didn't realize there was a walkthrough. Apparently this walkthrough, you can get the game done in less than three or four hours. And the game is Bridge Constructor. Yes, the same one that was on iPods and phones back in the day. It is a simple, simple game. Now for the PS4 version, they did add some new mechanics to it, but it is basically in depth the same exact game as the app version was. Now this game, like I said, there is a walkthrough that you can go online and get and basically follow the walkthrough, build the bridges the exact way that it tells you to, and you should get the platinum in four hours. It won't take too long. For me, who played it the authentic way, in between other games and in between my main games, I would just do a couple le levels here and there, I finished it within two to three weeks. So if you're playing it like I did, two to three weeks, if you're just playing it here and there, if you want to sit out and grind out, then three to four hours if you use a walkthrough. Now, like I said, this game for me, is it the greatest? Not really. It's a lot of grindy stuff, and some of the bridges are extremely difficult, but again, it's not that hard. You can beat it and get the platinum. The next game is Toy Story Mania. Now, this was originally a PlayStation 3 game, and it had a lot to do with the PlayStation Move at the time. However, you can still play it with PlayStation Now on the PlayStation 4 with your controller. It's just some of the levels are a little bit trickier using the controller as opposed to if you had the PlayStation Move from back on the PlayStation 3. So it is really easy. It is basically set in this Toy Story universe. There's missions and it's basically just kind of like a target practice game. It's really, I'm just going to say childish. It's not that difficult of game. Some of the levels are tricky where you have to earn certain trophies, but you can earn a platinum out of this game. If you miss an objective for a certain trophy you can go back and play that level again however whenever you go and select a level I think there's a total of six levels and with that each round of that level you have to go through again until you get to that point where that trophy was I believe each round has its own trophy associated with it and there's a total of six levels in the game again it's not that difficult it is a little grindy and especially if you miss a trophy and having to go back and play that whole level again just to get to that one round that you missed the trophy on is kind of a grind. But again, it is an easy, easy platinum. The next one is one of my favorite games on PlayStation Now that I personally have played, and that is The Wolf Among Us. Yes, a Telltale game. I really wish that they would port over a lot of the Telltale games 
onto PlayStation Now because since Telltale is no longer a company, they went bankrupt a couple years back now, and they're no longer with us, basically. I really wish they would just take all those games and put them on PlayStation Now so people still have an opportunity to play them that didn't purchase them at the time. I slowly see them fade away from the PlayStation Store. I've been on the lookouts for Guardians of the Galaxy, and I believe there's one more Telltale game. I think it's the final Walking Dead one. They're slowly disappearing from the PlayStation Store. I can't find them whenever I search for them, and that really sucks because I definitely wanted to check out the final Walking Dead game because I missed it whenever it came out, and also Guardians of the Galaxy because I didn't realize whenever it was released that it was released. So this game here, The Wolf Among Us, is a lot of fun. Just like any of the Telltale games, to get the Platinum, you just have to go through the whole story. However, for The Wolf Among Us, there is two, maybe three trophies that along the way you have to make certain decisions in order to get those trophies. So instead of like the regular Telltale games where the only thing you have to do is start to finish, beat the game, and make your decisions along the way, whatever you feel is appropriate, you get the Platinum with those games. This one here, there is three trophies, but the simple thing is to do... Go back, finish the entire game, and then go to those certain points and make the decisions that you were supposed to make in order to earn that trophy. That's what I did, and it's very easy to do so. It's also a really fun game in general. I love anything that's the Telltale games because their story and the graphics are right up my alley. It is amazing story work, and the graphics are really cool with Telltale. The next game is a simple racing game. It's not that difficult. And that is Cars Racerama. This game here is, like I said, super easy. It is set in the Cars universe. And it is basically like an open world Cars game. Which I thought was very interesting. But I've never been really into Cars. It's kind of too childish for me. But I still think it was really cool to go around Radiator Springs, I think it's called. And a lot of the other parts in the game and just be able to drive around and check everything out in a 3D model. I thought that was a cool aspect that they did for this game. But again, the racing portion is super easy. Now you can go through and beat the game and get the Platinum just by doing it on your own. However, if you're struggling with a certain race here or there, you can't move to the next races until you beat that race. Unless you use a cheat code. You simply enter a couple cheat codes into the game. And it basically unlocks all of the races for you. So you get to pick and choose where you want to go and which races you want to do. As opposed to going one by one and beating the races as you were supposed to, as it was intended to be. So that was a cool aspect. This is a super, super easy Platinum. I think I got it within a day or two. It won't take too long and difficulty doesn't matter for this game. So if you just want to grind out for an easy trophy, just put it on the easiest level and the easiest difficulty and you'll be able to get the platinum it won't take you too long it's not that hard of races it's really simple it's actually i believe made for kids so if you're getting it just for the sake of getting a platinum it shouldn't take you too long for that the next game is one of my favorite games that i have played in platinums and that is rocket league rocket league is an amazing game it is simply put soccer with rocket powered cars it's a lot of fun now I managed to get the platinum within two weeks I've been seeing recently that a lot of people were saying that it's really grindy which I 100% agree with but that it's taken them forever to get the platinum I was able to get it in two weeks maybe that was just me maybe by fluke some of the trophies but some of it definitely was grind work especially the one where it is total distance driven that one takes a long time, but if you're grinding out and you're playing it, it actually is a lot of fun. And it's definitely a lot of fun if you're playing it with a friend as opposed to solo because you have somebody to communicate with. And it's a lot of fun to get on this game with friends, but definitely is a super easy platinum. It shouldn't take you too long and you can definitely get some help with friends for certain trophies along the way. For example, if you need to get X amount of goals or win in certain situations, you can have your friends and just tell them, can you back off and let me get the goal? And that's the easiest way that I did it. It was able to be done within two weeks, like I've already mentioned. And the last one is a possibility to get a platinum out of, and that is certain Lego games. Now, of course, Lego games have been around for literally years. And if you get one that was released originally 
before trophies became a thing on the PlayStation 3, then that game might not have trophies associated with it. However, if it was released after that, then there most likely is trophies and most likely a platinum. I'm not sure which LEGO games have trophies associated with them that are on PlayStation now and which ones do not. So it's a matter of picking and choosing and seeing which ones you want to play. Honestly, LEGO games are a lot of fun. I absolutely love them. Even if it's ones that's the topic at hand is not something I enjoy. If I play the LEGO version, I usually enjoy it regardless. So there's definitely a lot of fun to be had with LEGO games, but you definitely, if you're looking just solely to get trophies and to earn Platinums, you definitely want to look and see before playing a game which LEGO games include trophies and which of them include a Platinum trophy because there's some that they might have other trophies associated with them, but they might not have a Platinum trophy. So you definitely want to do your research before just going and playing through a LEGO game, beating it and expecting to get a Platinum along the way. You might be disappointed, but these are the easiest Platinum trophies that you can get with games that are on PlayStation Now. Like I said, I have a one year subscription and I'm definitely gonna be renewing because there is a lot of great things with PlayStation Now. These are the easiest ones I have came across as of right now, but there is so many games on PlayStation Now that I'm diving into and checking out other games because I'm certain that there is a lot more easy games to play and platinum that are on PlayStation Now. It's just, I have not come across them yet. These are the ones that I want to mention in this video that's number one might not take you too long. They're fairly easy and straightforward and you should be able to get the platinum that way. And some of these are actually really fun. Now, like I said, Rocket League is by far my favorite one, but most people have probably already played it that are here to get new platinums. They've probably already gotten Rocket League. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. Comment down below what other games are on PlayStation now that I should check out that are kind of easy Platinums. I want to definitely expand my trophy collection and expand the Platinums that I have. And maybe if there's enough, I might make a update video in the future with those games included if I find that they're easy Platinums to get on the PlayStation now. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm going to see you guys in the next video. Please take care. Peace.